Welcome to the Lion City, Singapore. In this travel video, I am going to give you a perfect tour guide to how to travel Singapore and cover all the major attractions in 4 days. Singapore is well connected by all major cities through airways. Changi Airport is considered as one of the best airport in the world. From most of the major cities in India, there are direct flights to Singapore. Singapore is a year-round destination having high humidity all the time. But the peak season is September to February and June to July. So if you are travelling in these months, book your hotels in advance. Any trip to Singapore is incomplete without at least a day to explore Marina Bay Sands and its surroundings. After relaxing for some time in our hotel, we started our day tour from Marina Bay area. At first, we went to explore Gardens by the Bay. The most common way to get to Gardens by the Bay is through the main entrance at Marina Bay Sands. Exploring Gardens by the Bay thoroughly could easily take a whole day. If you are short on time, I would recommend going straight to Cloud Forest, Flower Dome and Super Tree Grove. Cloud Forest is a giant greenhouse that mimics the climate of endangered tropical highlands. The most impressive feature here is beautiful indoor waterfall. A short walk from Cloud Forest is the Flower Dome. It is a greenhouse full of rare flowering plants. The largest trees at Gardens by the Way are not palms or ferns, but it is super trees. The metal tree-like structures are wrapped in leafy vines. These super trees come to life at night with bright LED lights. Every evening there is a Garden Rhapsody show. After that, we went to see the city view from Sky Park Observation Deck. So guys, we are at Marina Bay Sky Park. You don't need to stay in Marina Bay Sands Hotel to come here. You can just get a ticket for this 56th floor Sky Park. And the view from here to the whole city of the Singapore is just amazing. To be here and to get you under my skin and right back to where we've been Give me a sign and tell me when to pick After that, we went to Marina Bay Sands Shop. The shops is the flagship shopping mall in the Marina Bay Sands complex. One of the impressive part of this mall is the indoor canal where you can book a boat ride. My personal favorite was digital light canvas. You can paint with your feet at this interactive art exhibit by Team Lab. After that, we went to see the statue of Singapore's official mascot, the Merlion. This Merlion Park is famous Singapore landmark and major tourist attraction. Merlion is a mythical creature with lion's head and body of fish. The Merlion is surrounded by small landscape gardens, benches, paved areas, cafes, etc. You can also book a boat ride from here and enjoy the beautiful view of Singapore. 
to be here and to get you under my skin next day we started our day trip from the famous buddha two relic temple in china town super king The temple is based on the Tang dynasty architectural style and built to house the tooth relic of the historical Buddha. It is claimed that the relic of Buddha from which it gains its name was found in 1980 in a collapsed stupa in Myanmar. The relic can be viewed by the public at the fourth floor of the temple. Back to the place where the lights go down. Just you and I living up the rest. Oh. After that, we went to the Chinatown street market. There are hundreds of stalls selling everything from silk robes to lucky cats. There's also a great range of street food. So here in Chinatown, they are celebrating Chinese New Year tomorrow. This year is the year of Ram. After that we went for lunch in Little India. The main landmark here is Sri Veera Ma Kaliman Temple. The busy streets are filled with malls, jewelry stores and restaurants. After that, we plan to go to the colorful and art-inspired area of Haji Lane. Haji Lane is one of the hottest spot in the city. We will fall in love with the wall murals of this area. It offers a great number of local boutiques, creative handmade stores, hip cafes, and friendly pubs. Just after walking a couple of streets, we reach to the Arab Street. Arab street is surrounded by brightly colored fabrics and textiles, rugs and aromatic Arab teas. You will see a lot of beautiful restaurants on the side. It also contains the famous Masjid Sultan Mosque which has a history of 200 years. After that, we went to see the Bugis Street Market as it was in nearby area. Bugis Street is a mecca for shoppers and bargain hunters. This market has everything, right from souvenirs, t-shirt, bags, etc. It was too crowded when we went there, but it is the cheapest place to shop in Singapore. In the end, we went to the Orchards Road. It is a 2.2 km long road in the central area of Singapore. It is an upscale shopping area with numerous international stores, restaurants and coffee houses. In the night, we decided to go to the famous Clarkey area. It is located on bank of Singapore River. This place along the river is where Singaporeans and travelers go for the sunsets. This area has great nightlife and waterside restaurants. Personally, this is one of my favorite area to hang out in Singapore. On day 3, we decided to cover the most interesting place of Singapore, Sentosa Islands. Sentosa is an island resort and it is connected to the city by road, cable car, broadwalk and monorail. It has beautiful beaches, spas, outdoor activities and theme parks. Some tourists spend their entire vacation on Sentosa, while others just visit for a day. We started our Sentosa day trip from Universal Studios. Let me know.
this amusement park is one of the top destination among tourists. From hopping around all the rides to meeting cartoon characters, this place was my favorite during the entire trip. Each zone has its own theme park, games as well as souvenir shops. The most visited part is the Lost World area. Here you will get on world's tallest roller coaster to famous transformer ride. After that, we went to see Sea Aquarium. The Sea Aquarium hosts more than 100,000 fish and sea creatures and is very popular attraction in Sentosa Island. There are many other attractions in Sentosa Islands which I'll cover in separate video. Out of that, my personal favorites are Crane Dance and Wings of Time. Crane Dance is a spectacular show that combines audio-visual technologies with light and water effects which narrates the Crane cute love story. Wings of Time is a beautiful show about friendship and courage. The show is filled with laser, fire and water effects with a jaw-dropping fireworks in the end. On day 4, we went to Singapore Zoo. So guys, we are in Singapore Zoo right now. The Singapore Zoo is divided into three main parts. The main Singapore Zoo, the river safari and the night safari. They are located next to each other with just a two minute walk on solid pathway. The nice thing about zoo is that most of the animals are in open exhibits with hidden barriers. The entire zoo complex resembles a tropical jungle. There is a lush green shrubs, colorful flowers and green leafy trees everywhere. Singapore Zoo is very structured. It has kept its animal into different geographical zones which makes it very easy to explore. You just need to take the map and follow it accordingly. The lifespan is about 25 years old. The zoo runs four daily shows, once every morning and once every afternoon. They are Splash Safari, Animal Friend Shows, Elephant Presentation and Rainforest Fights Back. Singapore Zoo is a big place. You can enjoy walking but if you are not a walker, you can take advantage of the zoo's tram service. If you are visiting the zoo with children, then there are plenty of opportunities for them to stop and play along the route with dedicated kids zone. Next is River Safari, which requires a separate ticket. Similar to the zoo, River Safari is also structured into theme zones with world's major river habitats. The highlight of River Safari is Amazon River Quest, which is like a boat ride in a mini theme park.
In the evening, we went to Night Safari. Night Safari is the world's first nocturnal zoo and one of the best things to see in Singapore for all ages. The most preferred way to explore the park is to take a tram ride with guided tour. There are different walking tours available for adults as well. Apart from the tours, the best part of Night Safari is creatures of the night show. It is a 20-minute show performed in big open amphitheater. You will see lot of animals displaying their talents. If you have watched my video till here, let me give you some bonus travel tips which will help you in making your journey comfortable in Singapore. After reaching Changi Airport, we took a 4G SIM to stay connected everywhere. You can also rent a pocket Wi-Fi which connects 8 devices at once. These Wi-Fi routers are available at rent at airport and you just need to pick and drop from the airport. After that, we also withdraw some Singapore dollars from ATM. There are lot of money exchanges at airport with good exchange rates. Since we were travelling with her baby and had lot of luggages and stroller, we booked a grab to go to our hotel. There is a separate pickup and drop area for the grab taxi at the airport. The cheapest way to travel anywhere in Singapore is by MRT. If you plan to travel in Singapore by MRT, then better purchase a Singapore tourist pass or a stored value. Buses are also available at Changi Airport. In fact, it is cheapest but time consuming. Hope this video has helped you in planning your trip to Singapore. Please like this video and also subscribe to our channel Lose Yourself Vlog. Na, na, na.